Good morning, everyone. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for spring 2020? Because it's happening right now. It's happening, full send is underway. The last video that came out was filmed on Friday. It is now Monday. Yesterday we were out with three tillage tools in the afternoon, did a little fertilizer, but we are currently like 600 acres ahead of the corn planter and Precision Egg 360 from Hancock is coming to test fire the planter right away this morning. So we'll try to get some footage of that. Hopefully that goes well. I gotta do a little bit of welding here. Gotta put a bead right on that little nut there. It's turning, gotta fix that. I might actually move this out a little bit because it's for whatever reason that end one is in too far it's overthrowing dirt it's always been a problem but now that we're using this in spring to try and stay ahead of the high speed planter i don't like the little groove it digs there i'm going to do that a little bit this morning maybe get some seed loaded and hopefully precision will be here and we can get dad trained in on that new planter my fingers are so fat i can't cross my fingers there we go all right so that's what's going on today Get ready, prepare for this video because it should be a good one, interesting one. It's supposed to be like 50 mile an hour winds today, so my filming outside might be limited due to wind issues. So like I said, that was a, a joke of a project. Took longer to get it all out here than it was to weld that little bead on there. I hate this, uh, this adjusts the depth. You turn this here deal one way or the other to adjust the depth of the implement in the ground. And it had a malfunction yesterday as I was trying to adjust it. And it is a disgrace of a depth control in my opinion, but it's what we got. So that implement there, we normally use the field cultivators on all of the acres and use that for wet spots, but it does pretty good in bean stubble. It's doing really good actually this year. So we might use that a little bit more because I like the way the seed bed is behind that thing this year. It's chopping up the stubble a little bit more. Haircut, big Swede. Oh, yeah. I'll check that. Your girlfriend do that? Yeah. You think she could do mine? Cheap labor. Sure. <laughs> She'll buzz it to a three. <laughs> Jeez. Eric interrupted my train of thought there. We just, I just moved that out about four inches, which you can see the line, or three inches about. Try to catch more dirt. Got that done. We can always move it back if we don't like what it's doing, but I think this is gonna be a lot better. The spacing looks a lot more like all the rest of them now. Why it was set up like that, I'm sure there's a reason. This is the way I'm gonna try it now. Can I was move back, that was like a 10 minute little touch. Just a little 30 footer, but believe it or not, it works the old 450 pretty good. She gets a workout. So I'm just gonna park this here for the time being next to the other one. Go get the corn planter out now. Get prepared to learn 
more so dad learning because he's the guy that always runs it. 810. Normally I'm just getting to the farm. Look at all the work I've gotten. Gosh, we're productive today. God be with you, machine. Please work as you were designed. Where can Duggo be found when he should be planting? What are you doing? You would be cleaning, wouldn't you? You gonna floor scrub this too, or what? My head went with a seat on. Shouldn't you be watching YouTube videos out around that planter or something? I should do something more than this. Where did the shovel go? Oh, thank you. It's yielding again. Admire the gentle <laughs> scooping right. of the duggo. There's the right and the wrong. Oh, here we go with the right and the wrong again. Right and the wrong. <laughs> In my opinion, of course. <laughs> Everyone's got one, just like a butthole. <laughs> I don't even like the sound of that. <laughs> oh. Are you feeling stressed? A little bit. <laughs> Well, I got the iPad on, I got the 2020 on, I got the 2600 on, and the motor is on too. Is it too late to put the brown box back in? <laughs> I think we're past that. Well, the you handles know, are going to rip off of that soon. Yeah, you should dump that out. You, where do you have your head at? Oh boy. Kibble! Need a new hat, Kibble. No, I'm just kidding. We got way too many. <laughs> Time to load seed. Before the wind picks up and all the uh, talc blows away. So we got to load. What do we got to load here? We got to load some 99 day. We already loaded this on the back hopper and then filled the planter and there's some still in there. So we're gonna put these three boxes of 9972 channel corn in the front hopper. That's the plan. So pretty. Voice texting. So we have to put this stuff on. Oh, just roll, rolled my ankle. Put this stuff on. It's 80 20 talc. It lubes all the components in the planter, which he parked outside, so half of it's blowing away. Hoist it up. Next time, park inside. picking up here's the other corn that we got in here there's where we're gonna dump this I'm sure there's a safer way of doing this but there's definitely no faster way than doing this phone's ringing that was Justin from Kibble two more to do Basically, you rip those boxes down like that to conserve space because they're empty and light. You get five on top of each other instead of three. This is a message to the editor. I'm sure you look beautiful. So, seed is loaded. 
we are ready to go for the day and then some as far as seed goes so that tender there we homemade out of an old fertilizer thing that slides in the back of like a tandem axle truck we built the rest of that into a seed tender holds about eight pro boxes four per side works pretty good actually really cheap paid 350 bucks for it think we did pay someone to do a little bit of welding about 3500 bucks but it's pretty reasonable compared to what new seed tenders cost well i'm on the way out to the field to see how they're doing with the planter teaching dad and setting on it eric and steve went to get fertilizer two hours ago and i called them and the fertilizer plants having issues they've been sitting in line for two hours and and they finally got there and they got a half a load because they're injector direct injector busted or something for the instinct so the wheels on the bus are falling off already the struggle bus that is so hopefully this planter situation is going better so there's randy he's digging there's grandpa he's rock picking and tony is over there rock picking also get her done boys get her done hey grandpa so i'm here now unfortunately i thought they'd be planting but they're not i think they're still uh teaching dad how to run everything. Normally Precision Ag 360 and Hancock has their 2020 monitor meeting every spring to train you how to run it and everything. We've never owned one and we're really planning and looking forward to going to that. Well, due to the Corona virus got canceled, of course. So now we have no idea how to do it. And I kept telling dad you had watched some YouTube videos and he never did. Well, here we are with him teaching him everything about the 2020 I would imagine is what's taking so long but we'll get her going here shortly to get a beautiful uh, 137 acres here perfectly square quarter one of the few that we do farm uh, but it's gonna be a great farm to practice on nice and square I had to run back to the shop download some stuff onto this that an email that he just sent from his phone there he needs an update for the 2020 put on this thing so off to the shop we go and here we are downloading so we are just now seconds away from the launch of the high-speed planter he's saving the configuration to a flash drive in case dad gets poking on buttons or something bad happens that we can just plug and play to get all your old settings back basically we are pretty much ready to go here we had to do quite a bit of just fine-tune adjustments updates screen layout up there settings but he's pretty confident we're pretty close to being ready to go which is awesome Crushing that together, getting good sealed seed to soil contact. So we just did a depth check, furrow force check, planting check. Only thing we had wrong was one vacuum hose never got put on or fell off. Otherwise, all systems are a go. Here we go. So this thing is so smart that that one row that was not planting, we can plant over it it knows that that one row did not plant there and it will turn on that one row and plant it back oh the little air compressor just turned on Woo! i love when stuff works 
Wow, that pumps really quick. Holy cow. So as you can see, the little furrow force is there. Then this just pinch the trench, kind of like case, just not like case. Then it pushes down with air pressure on them back wheels. Essentially leaving the soil as if you had dug the soil or dug the seed in. Nice and loose, but yet firm, if that makes sense. Not a hard smeared sidewall. That's what I'm trying to get at. By the way, Precision has sold out of them right now. So I couldn't even get more for the planter if I wanted to as of right now. Here comes our fertilizer crew. Woo! Sorry if the wind is horrible. I mean, it, it's whipping out here. That's the fertilizer pump that's applying uh, 1034-0 in furrow. We so far haven't even ripped the marker off yet. And we're going 10 miles an hour right now. And there's a lot of stuff flying around back here. Dirt, trash. Precision just left. I'm waiting for him to get back down here, eating a sandwich. When he gets down here, I'm gonna ride with him. I'm not done with my sandwich. I'm coming. I'm coming. Sorry, don't talk with your mouth full. Are you overwhelmed in here? I'm sitting in it. You look stressed. Oh gosh. Every time he was talking, it looked like you had this blank stare of not understanding a single thing he was saying. It's called the hole. The black hole. The black hole you go into. Hachi shifts rough. It's maybe not the best on the poor old girl. What are we doing? So, 9.5? Crank her up a little more. No, no. 9.7 miles an I hour. I figured out that I did pick up a few ground tenths of miles per hour by turning the front wheel assist on. Oh, that helps. 10% slip was, I just couldn't figure out why. I turned that on, shifted down a gear. Wrapped full her RPMs. Up. Fuel efficiency is gonna be yeah, that's out, terrible. But fuel price is very low, so we're good to go there. Good thing we have that tune from Agro Eco Diesel. Good thing, yeah. Otherwise we would have been we would have really been a sad seven and a half mile an hour planet. Well, track. you gotta get this up to 12 for how long we've been sitting around wasting teaching you. Uh, you'll get the night shift, you'll make up for the downtime. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you got monitors in here. Yeah, FF is the closing wheel and furrow force. Right, the closing wheels. Closing? Yeah. DF is a delta force. I'm gonna have to sleep and dream Down about force. this. Delta. Yeah, it's Delta Force, but down think force? of it Down Force. Down oh, thank you, goodness. Adam, for coming out and uh, helping us out. Adam from Precision Egg 360 really was patient with us today. Get the whip. Needs a little you more. You are going to work its tiny to death this spring. So uh, we'll be downshifted in a hot day. Speaking of, why is it so hot in here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so am I doing this right yet? I don't know, is the seed coming out? I don't know, how do you tell? By these here. There For you them. go. Yeah. I was on the wrong page. <laughs> <laughs> 10 miles an hour. Oh, that's loud and annoying. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Gosh, you really scare me. There is gonna be some major marker damage this year. Good thing I don't need markers no more, right? You do on your headlands. Why does she shift so rough? the way she always does from that one gear. Good thing I got 35 years of planting experience or I would be overwhelmed by leaps and bounds. Well, does anyone want to demo us a tractor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it may be better stay green though because I know how to run them. So let's talk numbers here. We are doing 66 acres an hour. Soil temperature is from 50 to 60 it looks like. We're at 58 degree ground right now. Furrow moisture is 30%, 98% good ride. So many buttons to look at. <laughs> I'm just looking at my 
2600 something I know what I'm looking at. It's hard to uh, adjust uh, anything because we're at the other end so quick before right. we even get to look at anything. Oh, Adam said that there's hardly time to eat a sandwich. <laughs> I'm believing it. Which, then that will truly get me on a diet, which we all know needs to happen. Why is that? You got a physical the other day, didn't you? No, it wasn't a physical, but I got a, I got weight. I was weight. <laughs> and it's close to, I'd still be a Gantt market hog. Might take a dock, but I'm getting close to that market weight. It's raining. Well, way to, up a gear. A way to wreck it. the day with some rain. That's ah, just sprinkles. Maybe it's the antifreeze boiling out of the radiator. <laughs> See, do I have enough fertilizer now for this whole field? Probably not. Who hooked the tile? What? This tile dragon. Piece of tile. That's excess from extending the concrete with plastic. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. So as we're sitting, looking over the planter and I was really thinking it was gonna bounce around a lot more but I think that that weight distribution the, 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 I think the that distribution the, kit yeah, yeah the, the weight distribution <laughs> distribution kit is really making it a lot more rigid you can see how much more weight there is out there there's a lot of down pressure boy that guy almost tore his boom off his corrugator he better slow down out there it ain't ours. So those little cylinders right there, which aren't so little, are putting pressure down on those wings. Lifting the center up. Lightening the center load, putting weight out there. Allowing the, what would you call it, delta force to maximize its efficiency? Yeah, everything. Oh, this thing almost runs for nothing. My words really all came together there. It's nice when the mouth keeps up with the brain. It's a rare thing for you, isn't it? How is my red balls doing? <laughs> Well, better than your blue ones. Oh! What's that mean? <laughs> no, I had two of my red balls there were stuck. Check that one out now when I turn around. I don't like looking at your red balls. Which ball is it? It was number four. On the left or the right? Number four on the right and number two on the left. Looks like some mighty fine balls. They're working. And how they're working. So, if you have any interest in the weight distribution, I can't say that word. Weight distribution kit. Yeah, I will have that link in the description to contact him if someday you would like to put that on your planter. He does DBs and NTs like this one is here. Then also, i uh, like to thank Agro Eco for tuning this tractor. I can't imagine what it would be like without being tuned. Can you imagine it? It wouldn't work. It, it wouldn't work. It'd be plain and simple. It's Well, it would work at seven miles an hour. Yeah, but we're, we're pushing nine right now. You should try a 13th gear. Let's do it. Oh, listen, we're whining. I would hate the puller like that all day long. I don't think you could. I think it'd overheat. Uh, better check our temperatures. I don't think we're... It's so bumpy and it is not good. You really can drive this thing. I would shift her up one more. Well, both markers have so far stayed on the planter. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. He planted about 240 acres today uh, from basically noon to 8 30 which was pretty good took us about till noon to get it all set up and ready to, and actually planting decent if you got any questions concerns comments please write them down don't forget to like this video and i appreciate any subscribers that want to follow along so you are notified for more videos coming off of larson farms i appreciate it thanks for watching guys see you next video